Do you have a way of winning the room, or do you think you have like a move that wins the room? No. Speaking of intangibles and stuff, because they, I've had a lot of casting directors on here recently. And yeah. I was like, we're just looking for people that own the room, and they can't put that into words. So I was going to say, but I, I don't have anything specific. I think you own the room with your audition. Yeah. And I think you own the room. For me, this is how I think I own a room. Let me put it that way. I don't know for other actors. I'm not looking to walk in and shake everybody's hand and do a tight five <laughs> and mention the last time I was in here. And so, you know, like, right. I, you know, I will. You're not glad handed. No, no, exactly. If, the, if they want to chat, if somebody reaches out, I'm going to shake hands up. If they want to ask questions or BS, I'm, I'm jovial and we'll do that. But for the most part, the way I figure it is we're all at work. My job is to audition. Their job is to watch me and a bunch of other people audition that day. Come in. In my opinion, directors want to know, um, if I give you a note on the spot, how is he going to take it? Can, yeah. Can they be creative? doesn't have to be the right choice, so to speak. Can they make a choice? You know. So that's what I look to do in the room. I just want them to know exactly what I'd be like on set and know that with me, we're not wasting hours. I'll get there. I'll Just give me the note. I'll get it done. Yeah. That's sort of the way I try to win a room, I guess. But no, I've seen, I've been in you know rooms where actors come in and it's just like, just, God. Just get to it. Just get to it. Yeah. Please just get to it. Yeah, I, 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 I've gone back and forth with exactly what you just said because I feel like when I first moved here, I taught, I, I handled auditions a lot like job interviews. Yeah. Where I was felt like I had to keep a demeanor about sure. it. Sure. And I think in that, I lost a little bit of my personality. You can. Absolutely. And then you see people that are way too personable and way too, and you're just like, okay, yeah. that's an off-putting. Yeah. It, it, there's a delicate balance, I think, between the two. I was like, I knew two actors one time. I don't know if I should say their names or not, but I, was, I knew two actors one time that, like, they used Well, Bill Macy was one of them. I say Bill Macy <laughs> and William H. Macy. Um, <laughs> William F. Macy. William his, F. Macy. His cousin. It was a whole thing. Um, funny, I think William Shatner's there's, cousin is William Shatner, there, weirdly, by oh, the way. Oh, really? It's just on a side. Well, I could be, be wrong a... about that. I think it's Bill and Bill Shatner. I could be wrong. Well, there's got to be another William Macy out there, otherwise he wouldn't have put the H in well, there. Well, exactly. Right? exactly. Yeah. That's exactly right. What am I thinking? Of course. <laughs> you might not be related to him, but he's out there. <laughs> I have no idea where I was going with that, because that, you, no, you, I was going to say, it's okay. Because you did two actors a oh, long yeah, time yeah. ago. But they used to say, like, for they were their thing to get ready for auditions was they were they were sort of in a quiet competition with each other. So it wasn't that they were rooting against each other, but they used each other to really drive themselves for the audition. And he told me, so one time he said, I got the audition and I just, you know, I had done some stuff and thought I'd gone probably a little too far this time. And it was, you know, military thing. He said, and I looked over and I didn't recognize my friend at first because he was in full camo makeup, full <laughs> everything. And we stared at each other for about five minutes and he just looked up at me finally and said, I may have gone too far. On this one. <laughs> That's hilarious. So you know, you do. You have guy. You have people. You know, men, women, anybody that will really do some crazy prep. Yeah. And honestly, I have a lot of respect for the guts it takes to walk into a room with that amount of prep. If you're going to go full makeup, full everything. Yeah. I don't know that I could do. It. Like, I don't own a lab coat. I never bought yeah. one. <laughs> Okay, I got here 21 years ago. They told me to buy a lab coat. And I was like, honestly, if I don't book a role playing a doctor because I didn't wear a lab coat, it probably had nothing to do with <laughs> yeah, the lab coat. Yeah. <laughs> right? There's no lab. I don't have a policeman's uniform. I don't have any of that stuff. Do you, do you speaking of your two actor yeah. you references, do you ever put a little competitive angle to your auditioning or anything or your career at all? I think so. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it's just, it's not, I don't really lay it on anybody specifically. I don't have people that I consider like that's my nemesis right. or whatever. I think though that I'm just enough of a, you know, uh, you know, I played baseball through high school. I've, I've done just enough competitive things in my life that to have a little bit of that sort of, I don't want to say feeling like it's a ball game or a locker room, but the uh, of preparing for, be it a poker tournament, uh, you know, something like that. Like, in other words, I, it's a competition. I did a lot of speech and debate in high school. It's actually, I went to college on a speech oh, and debate scholarship. that's amazing. I was going to say, is, but that's very much like go in the room, compete, get your judges and leave. And I feel like auditions, I put them in the mindset of I'm going in the room, the judges are going to give me a score. And if the score is good enough, I go on to the next, yeah. you know, the next round. That's sort of the way that I try to do it. So that's so. In other words, it's not like when people walk in the room, I'm not like, ugh, fuck you, ugh, fuck this guy. You know, you know, it's not like that. But it is like a, all right. 
No, I totally am there with you, and I feel like a broken record because I say this all the time okay. on the podcast. I feel like a lot of people on here judge me for sort of being competitive a little bit with it, and I'm like, what? somebody's got to get it. If yeah. a friend of mine gets it, I'm going to be happy You're for happy, them. You're happy, right? There I still go. want a little edge, a competitive edge to bring out the best in you me. Have to. Yeah, we're it, all competing for the same thing. You have. It's got to mean something. Yeah. You know, and for me, meaning something means it's probably a little bit competitive. But no, I'm always, especially if it's a good role, I'm always, I'm almost more disappointed when I don't get it if a friend of mine doesn't get it as well. Like, oh, in other totally. words, yeah, like yeah. if I don't know the person that got it, I'm happy for the stranger, but I'd rather it have yes. been like somebody where I could go, like, oh, I didn't get it, but so and so got it. Yeah, we're on the same page. Yeah. I mean, I, see, that I think makes it. I'm biased. I'm talking about my own theory, I guess. But it makes it a healthy competition yeah. as opposed to hating everybody in the room. Totally. Or, or I'm going to do this because that guy does that. You can't. We can only do what we do in the room. We get maybe a minute. We go in a couple minutes. We do what we do. And look, half the time, you know what I'm going to say, half the time we don't get the thing we need, which is a director saying, uh, nice, take it back. I'm going to give you an adjustment. Right. If you give us an adjustment, we really show we can act. Yeah. We really show we've prepared. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's almost like I want to say, like, if I'm a mar- if I'm a marathon runner, why are you asking me to sprint? Right. Let me run some distance. Yeah. You know, so that that's always the worst. I, um, I'm friends with, uh, I went to high school with Andy, Anthony Zyker, who created CSI. Oh, okay. And years ago, um, um, first episode of second season, I mean, Anthony's a great guy. Anthony gave me a call. He's like, hey, I want, I want to do something with you let's uh, want to help me write the teaser and then we'll do a character on the show i'm like oh that's awesome that Great. is awesome yeah and so we did this whole thing and there were two characters it was a poker playing show so we kind of wrote this poker playing character and that's the character that i know he wanted me to play and i really wanted to play it but there's politics going into it and you know the, the director had a friend coming in for a different role and this and that and everybody's mad because they don't want this actor that right so you're always going to get pushed around a little bit but i went in and I did the audition, and I felt really good about it. And Anthony called. He's like, hey, listen, they're going with so-and-so. I said, great. Todd Stashwick, by the way, great actor, okay. uh, great improviser. Um, so to give you an example, like when Todd got it, I was like, well, that's Todd Stashwick. He's great. I mean, Todd's great. Yeah, he's great. So, but, Can't be mad about But that. Anthony said to me, he goes, he goes, I said, look, no worries. I'll play the whatever role you give me. He's like, what's, well, you know, a couple scenes. Bar-. I said, great, I'm in. He's like, what bothers you? I said, it bugs me that I drove to Santa Clarita and I sat there for an hour and 15 minutes as an actor to just say some words and leave. Yeah. Directors got, they've got to give us something. Yeah. I mean, you're, you know, um, we might be able to act better than you think if you work with us. Right. So they did. They actually brought me all the way back down. Oh, wow. To do another audition, which I'm the, and the reason I bring this up is I didn't get the other role. Um, I ended up with the role they gave me, but then years later I ended up with another guest spot on CSI and it was the same producer same cat they all knew me yeah. so in other words I think that it paid dividends to say look I just want to get in the room and show you guys like that's cool I can act if you give me an adjustment that's super cool you know so like it, it's important when you go into those rooms so I, a little competitive nature I think is what makes me say hey if you're asking my opinion my opinion is I didn't get to show anybody I could act yeah that's, you know I like that you were honest about yeah that. you that, know not enough people are honest about that they no bury that and then they have to deal with that in therapy years later. I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna, I, which is me. 